this is a popular play um, that's been being brought up. Now, can I – Can I, a few things. Can I almost guarantee this is not the play design? Three guys to break inside. You literally have an, an, an over and over and a, 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 an in. Can I guarantee that this is not this is not how it's drawn up? I can guarantee it. This is not how it's drawn up. Guarantee it. Are these guys doing something wrong? Hundred percent. Did he teach them well enough? I don't know. You know, was one of these guys supposed to push vertical? Was you know considering that these guys are both both um, one underneath and one outside? Was he supposed to push the point vertical right here? And then you have two guys cutting in, and and he's supposed to act like a pick. I could see that as a more, much more realistic play. So did somebody not do their job? Had to have been. Who was that on? You know, maybe it's on a player, whoever it may be. And it's also on coaching. So I'm putting that in here. I, I don't ever want to see a play with three guys within, within pretty much the hash marks of each other. What is Wilson going to do? Where is he supposed to go right now? And then on top of that, you have Ty Johnson who, and again, I said, I said this during the off season, people are, Oh my God, the running back group is so good. And I'm not trying to be super negative. I'm just trying to like, this is, this is why I say shit. And at first you're criticized for it, but whatever, but you got to just be honest. I said, Ty Johnson in the running back group, I said, they're bottom three to five unit. Are they bottom to five to three unit? Yes, they are. Ty Johnson is a, is a, it's a third running back, fourth running back. He was cut from Detroit. Now has he impressed more since then? Yes, but he's not a guy you want to rely on. Is, is, is P Ryan, you know, a Jag, maybe a third or fourth guy? Yes. You know, is, is Tevin Coleman a Jag? Yes. Can Michael Carter be a 1A or 1B? Yeah, I believe so. But past him, and, and he had his problems too in pass direction this game, and he, and he also had that drop, but, but Ty Johnson has been, and not even just, not even just <clears throat> blowing blocks that he is, um, knows he's like locked into. There's also times where it, he's like supposed to like, like whether it be like check outside in or inside out, chip and release, whatever it may be, he's completely missing blocks from a one-on-one -on -one aspect. And then also he's way too quick to, to get out of the backfield at times. You could tell he, his oh shit moments. So he's a, he's a bad pass blocker, bad. Here, you know, again, um, looks like a two jet slide, slide, insert inside. Um, and he goes against a linebacker. Okay, good. Good job filling in. Now, what can't you do? You can't you can't plant plant your feet, duck your head, and and lunge for a block. You know, move your feet, keep your heads up, keep your eyes up, shuffle with them, and get your hands on. But don't lunge for a block while you're ducking your head. And now, what is Wilson supposed to do? Nobody's open. Running back misses a block. Somebody blows. Somebody blows their again. Somebody blows their assignment. They have to be. Um, and now Wilson sacked. So is that on Wilson? Yeah, look, and, and look how long he held the ball. But, but what was he supposed to do? Okay. Play one. 17-35. This is a good concept. Uh, I, I, just, I guess I just put it in here because I told it's a good concept. Empty. Uh, this is uh, the empty... Uh, Third and two, I believe it's third and two. We'll see in a second. Again, sorry for not putting on all of the down distances. The film I get um, does not have the down distances, doesn't have the time. It's just one continuous video without anything. So I apologize for that. You know, flags, like sometimes, sometimes I'm missed up because it doesn't, it doesn't say like the old game pass and, and hopefully I'll get back to this, but apparently they just, they just decided to just completely F everybody because they can't be that incompetent. Um, used to have it listed play by play, what happened, penalty, who got the ball, who got the pass deflection. Now it's just a straight video with nothing. That's what we'd be getting. Um, okay. Now again, why couldn't we do more of this? This is what I'm talking about. You have a man look, cover one. Holy shit. Three guys, they're going to be playing at different levels. Slot's going to push vertical to get specifically in the way of the, of the number one corner right here. He's in a press vertical cut underneath. It's not that complicated. Like to a certain extent. Yeah. Again, football is complicated. This shit, not always that complicated man, man looks are susceptible to what bunch formations rubs. 
and then, and then guys will start implementing robbers, et cetera. And then, and then you, and then you, 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 you fix it from there. But good job, Wilson, reading it, throwing, hitting, book, boom, easy. Wow. Why don't we see more of it? So that's a problem. I could, I see him doing it. Why isn't there more? I don't know. Oops, sorry. What the fuck? Okay. Oh, sorry. That, yeah, that one was on third and two. Or, I think it's a third and two. I, I apologize. I didn't, I didn't look during the play. I got too caught up into it. <coughs> uh, third and short here. Third and two. Let's watch. Again, don't love the play design. His primary reads are two or two dig routes, you know, seven, eight yards past the sticks. One, two, three, four, five step drop, which in shotgun equal to a seven step drop. So you have a seven step drop on a third and two with one with now could, now could he have seen, um, you know, off coverage and, and alerted into this ball. Maybe does he trust Ty Johnson to, to catch the ball? I, I don't know. Um, but at the same time, you just have, you have three guys underneath the sticks and then your two primary reads are, are digs seven, eight yards past. I don't love it. I just, I, I don't love it. Um, and now with Wilson reading this, you know, whether it be, whether it be, one, two, three, or, or one, two, three. And then these two guys are check downs. I, I, I'm not in the, I'm not in the, the meeting room. I'm not in the install. I'm not hundred percent sure. Um, nonetheless, I, I would, I probably think it's like one, two, three, but I don't, again, can't guarantee it. Uh, you'd like to see him. And, and by the way, more, I would like to see more. And, and he's been running some pretty good routes. I would like to see him cut this flatter. I don't want to see him drift up the field right here. Um, now was the route designed to drift up the field? Maybe, but do you have to, um, kind of depending on the coverage you see alter yourself? Yes. This guy's off, you know, run it, run a speed cut like he is, but don't drift up field, you know, four to five yards because now you're taking yourself right into him. So I like to see him cut it a little bit more flatter and hopefully Wilson adjusts it. If he doesn't, he throw, overthrows it and it is what it is. Um, so that's one or two, if he doesn't want to see that, and you can see his eyes take this linebacker into the into the window. You see the linebacker move, move, move. She's looking at it. You could also look at this and then check the dig from from Davis on the outside um, and hit that. So I don't love I don't love the the process in there from Wilson. He reads it. It looks like he's reading outside first. He looks like he's reading Davis first. Checks the linebacker outside. Now he goes inside. So the decisions and he could put a little bit more touch on it and put it over. Over top of the linebacker again. This I think it's Simmons. It's pretty tight to it, um, but at the same time, um, I would like see Davis or, or more run it a little bit more flat, cut it a little bit more flat. And if um, and he could have also thrown it uh, to to Davis. So there's like two couple things there that I'm not a huge fan of in terms of what Wilson does there. But in terms of the concept, don't love it. Um, the studs from this game, um, Fado Kasi is my number three. Um, now there was some times he got, he got knocked off the spot a little bit, but it, but it's, that was, there was, that was there two or three plays this game where he got, he got pancaked, um, typically by a secondary blocker, um, versus the primary blocker. I'm not saying like versus a guy in the secondary, obviously. Um, but overall he still made a ton of plays. Okay. So four, I right here, loose three, whatever I want to call him. Is he wide enough to be a four eye or is he, is he a loose enough three? Again, whatever your terminology is, just stick to it. I'm going to call him a four eye. Let's watch. By the way, the Broncos running backs played really, really well this game. And they also had a, a they did a lot of like those, like, uh, it was like duos, like cutback type runs, swerves. I think Willie Cone called it one time where it's like, it's a run to the front side, but they're, they're looking to cut it backside versus an aggressive defense. It was a Willie clone. I, I believe so. Um, but the running backs gashed up the Jets. Like, like, and I think the Jets defense, the first two games, pretty impressed for the most part. Um, 
Second game impressed. Third game, they got gashed up a little bit. And I think if the Broncos really wanted to put the pedal to the metal, they, they could have um, because the Jets defense is not playing great. Now, in terms of the Jets, like yards for play, good. Um, red zone defense has been good. You know, uh, they need to force more turnovers. Again, they're more bend but don't break. So you're not going to see a ton of turnovers. And guys will also have to capitalize. You know, Deidre, that one play should have had that pick. You know, there's some plays that they need to make. There's a fumble against the Pats they weren't able to. Well, there was one the ref screwed them on. And then I think there's another one that somebody forced and uh, they didn't recover. It, like, bounced right to the offensive line. But nonetheless, you still want to see more, more uh, stuff. So they're running an inside tight zone. Um, anybody on the front, the, the front side – Again, Q slants inside. He he blitzes um, fifty six. He feels quick. Q stands up. Uh, I believe Cushionberry. Yeah, Cushionberry. Legs get tied up. He, people hit the ground. Um, Quincy Williams needs to play in general under more control. There's a reason he missed a lot of tackles. He plays a hundred miles per hour. Um, but the game isn't always meant to be played at a hundred miles per hour. You got You got to process then play at a hundred. So he just plays at 100 without processing. So here he completely overruns it. You know, fill the gap, stay square, be ready to make a tackle. So thank God that one Marcus May was able to to which he's, we'll talk about that later. But um, Marcus May was able to fill, and Fado Kasi on the backside um, is able to get hand placement inside and just feel the run play and just again look at the look at the arm position, arm inside, lifting up the shoulder pad, up, pop them up, find them getting on the tackle. So good job by Fadakasi, good job by May, not a good job by Quincy Williams, who we'll discuss. 50-53. Hey, by the way, yeah, whatever. So, I, you know, whatever. I'll, I'll say it anyway. Um, yeah, last last show I was mentioning something about number eight, and I didn't know who number eight was. And then somebody comments like, hey, number eight's a, like, how do you not know who number eight is? Like, I was talking about Elijah Moore. Specifically in the play, you can see that, that number eight Patriots linebacker, who is, I think his name is like Juwan Bentley. Now that I, 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 I figured it out, is like making a player. He's involved in the play. And people are like, you know who Elijah Moore is? Like, no, I'm clearly talking about number eight on the Patriots, you freaking idiots. Like, so, so whoever that guy is, I'm sorry if you're a big supporter, but like use some context clues. Don't just be looking to attack people. Like, you just heard that. You probably weren't even looking at it. And then you just typed that without even thinking or, or checking it twice. People are ridiculous. Again, let's not attack each other because the Jets are doing bad. Uh, three tech. Or just, or just hey, if you don't want to attack me, please attack me to something that's 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 actually worthwhile and maybe that that you can embarrass me on. But to look at that play and say, oh, no, you don't know who number eight is. Yeah, I'm sure that you knew number eight on the Patriots was was Bentley. Like, context clues. Like, I'm assuming that guy's not a detective. Um, three tech. Again, good job. 